Hello viewers, I am here bringing you a special video. Now as you know, I love Pokemon. Or not really love Pokemon, I just really like it. I have a lot of games, and I grew up with the Fire Red game. It That was when the Game Boy came, when my dog got me a Game Boy, and we got a used version of the Fire Red. And it was amazing on that used version. But that's a story for another day. Now this is solely on my, and this is not solely on appearances. This is also going over what I thought of the Pokemon, what I think of them now, their attack stats, and also what they look like. And this is someone else's video of the just the pictures. You don't see anything else but pictures, and it's silent, so... Yeah. I just saw... This is on Kikeo Silverton's channel, and I've thought I've always wanted to share my opinions on Pokemon. So then this came to be. And my dog was looking outside. So I'll be right back. If you didn't notice, unless you see the black background on the cam on my camera, if that my video can pick it up, I am not in my room or my studio or I use usually ch or. Wherever I usually make these videos, I am in the, my living room because that's where my the laptop is, and I don't want to go in my room right now. So okay, so first we're starting out with Bulbasaur, and in my opinion, this is just one of the cutest Pokemon ever. I want to squeeze it and hug it, and that sounds a little girly, but it is an awesome Pokemon. The only reason I've ever wanted him is because of Razor Leaf. I don't know why, but that's like. I think a grass type of the move Razor Leaf. And because of how cute he is. And also I kind of like his evolution state. You might see my hand clicking a little bit. Because again, this is someone else's video. And I can't really control when it switches to the next slide. He is really cool though. With that plant on his back. And yeah. So now here's Ivy Store. And it basically just looks like that plant opened up and turned into a flower and he has spike teeth and now he is a different color and he got a little taller and he can move your butt. Sorry. A dog seems to look outside whenever he hears a car. And he got spike tail. Okay. Now we're at this. And this thing I'm not I'm gonna be honest with you, when I see this I that's terrible. How did the cute little bulbasaur turn into this? His plant has now evolved into a tree, and he's just huge. Lost all his spots. It's just, wah. I don't get it. He's evil now. You see his eyes, they are red. He is an evil plant creature. Evil. With a hole on his back in the tree. I don't, I don't get how little bulbas are turning into this. Who's gonna grow up into this? With pimples everywhere and... <sighs> Tex? are pretty great. Math Bulbasaur can't learn Solar Beam, but yeah. Now Charmander, and this is my favorite Pokemon in all history ever. It is the only it's the only Pokemon I ever used when I play Fire Red, mostly because when I got it used, Char Charizard was on it, and then I restarted it, and I chose Charmander. Now he is the best ever. Fire type and amazing. Now he turns into this, and he basically gets a horn on his head, turns orange, grows taller. And to look on his head like, I'm gonna kill you. I made you look cute and cuddly before, I'll kill you. And now he is beast. He has wings, he is a dragon, he is awesome, he is just the epitome of awesome. He is other stuff. His horns are not grown into two, he's more yellow, blue wings, eh. And his tail has grown to epic proportions, and his belly is a different color. My best Pokemon. A favorite, one of my favorites, and he can fly, plus he learned a lot of dragon type moves, so he's pretty much the best ever. I cannot stress how good he is. He's awesome. You might see some glaring, and that might be because of my light. And let me try something. And yeah, that's better, never mind, so I don't need that light. I'm not going to redo this though. Now, for some reason, it won't change to the next video. I think it might have paused. 
Okay, never mind. Now there's Squirtle. Squirtle is also a little cute. But, and you'll see when he goes to War Turtle. He's just a really cutie. A little show guy. Should be him up to be a big bad guy in the series, but no. And now he basically doesn't evolve. He loses a stripe on his shell. He gets a weird tail, weird ears, changes the shade of blue, and then gets spikes for fingers. I say all these Pokemon don't really evolve. They just get a little changing until their last evolution, where he is like, what happened? There should be a third evolution in the middle of this guy. He has cannons on his back. He, he, he's also the epitome of awesome. Him and just everything. I don't get how those little waves turned into what it is now. And a tiny tail. And you always get pictures of him showing off his shell and his cannons. You never get a picture of him from his front, leaning forward, shooting his cannons. Which is how he uses his Hydro Pump move. He never spits out of his mouth. He barely opens it. He just blushed. Shoots you, you're dead. Never talks again. Oh, and Caterpie. The Pokemon stares into your soul with its eyes. It's like, what's going on? And then it evolves into this, and it's like, oh, I'm sad. Why did I have to be a cocoon? And you always get a picture of it in this form, but it's supposed to be the other way around in the series, and it looks like he has a nose. And that way he looks angry. He's like, oh, why am I having a nose? Ugh. It's just, I don't get how or why they did this. It's, it's gross. And then it evolves into this. And originally it was meant to evolve into a mo into something else. Pause this because I think it might go by faster than I thought. It's supposed to evolve into the thing that Venomat evolves into. But the creators thought that it, it was too scary for younger viewers. So they changed the Butterfree and they changed the Venomoth. That is one reason why Butterfree learns a lot of psychic type moves. I think. That's what I would explain, because that's like his main moves. And then again, the eyes that stare back into your soul and cripple you from the inside. But it is an amazing Pokemon. And it does not, it kind of looks like it belongs. It really looks like it changed, but I think it could have done better. I think they should have just kept it the other way. It looked, looked a lot more in place. Because I thought Caterpillar was involved in the mock. Turn into moth. So my parents told me that caterpillar turned into a moth. Well, I don't know. So let's just keep going. Yeah, I'm sorry if this picture kind of blacks out a lot of his black features on the tip of his wings and his antenna. And also, what is up with those two little teeth? Like, I don't. What? T why teeth? Why are you trying so? Oh, yeah, now I remember. That's why Venomat has little tiny things. Now this guy, and one other thing I noticed, he has a giant clown nose. This is a failed, this is a clown's pet. And there's a bunch of little clown noses on his feet. Now you go to this, it's an angry cocoon. He's like, I'm gonna step up from Metapod and be angrier. And I'm, all, I'm just gonna sit on this tree and do nothing but harden until I evolve into a stick of Beedrill. I don't like being this stage. Oh, now I evolve and I'm, and I'm kind of beast. He looks beast, he doesn't learn any good moves. And I used to never use this thing as a kid. I hated the looks. I judged every Pokemon on looks when I was younger. And I hated this thing. I would never want this on my team. Never had it in my party. I never even tried catching them all back then. This thing I never touched with a 10 foot limbo pole. I was happy when I knocked it out because it disappeared into the ground. Now we're at Pidgey, and this is the cutest, this is not the cutest, but it's one of the cutest flying types. And then it evolves into this. It basically, it doesn't really evolve. It gets a little bigger, grows some weird tail, and grows a weird hat, head thing. But I do like that nice eyeliner design, it's so cool. -a. And I've actually used something like that on a drawings I've made of these things. But I've extended it so much to look like a birthmark or something, or tattoo. But now they got a little eyeliner on the eyes. Looks a little spaffle. And then, because she went real quick with these birds. Except for this one, apparently. It evolves into this, which is basically a bigger version of that. Except the tail color changes. And he's in a different pose. But yeah, his mane got bigger. 
He just grew up into a giant. She was like, he's giant. Ash could fit on this thing. Snorlax was it as about the same size. This thing is huge. I used to not think this thing was that big, and now I realize it's huge. If you don't want to see this thing flying up in the sky, it's going to swoop down, pick up those execute, and fly away. Yeah. Or suck out the goo in the execute. Oh, Ratatou. I'm actually using this in my fire red right now. I restarted it. Ratatou is just awesome. I used to hate him, and then I realized he's a pretty good Pokemon. With his one whisker, and the fact that I used to think his mouth was always open. And that's why I hated him. But he's still an amazing Pokemon, and I love when he's evolved. He can learn Hyper Beam, Hyper Fang, this. His mouth not may ever be able to close now as much as it can, but it is still kind of cool. It basically loses the one species in her face and turns into three different species. A hamster, and a rat, and some other type of hamster. I don't know. I, that's what I read. But it, and now it has three whiskers, and it's just all kind of cool. Now, Fero, I've always hated Fero. I still kind of hate Fero. I've only ever used it once, and that was when I was trying to use different Pokemon, and I've already used a Hoot Hoot. And, wait, I want to pause this. Oh, I said pause. Jerk. Okay, it's official. This thing is being a jerk to me. Okay. Okay. Finally. And I already used Hoot Hoot and Pidgey in the Soul Silver and Heart Gold games and we started them again. I did not want to use the same Pokemon. And I did, couldn't think of any other flying type. And they gave you this thing at level 20 when all my Pokemon were around level 20. And all the capture Pokemon were around level 15 or 8. Stuff like that. I don't know. So I used it for a little bit. I evolved him. Not that bad. He's a pretty good Pokemon. But I'd say I never used him again. I think that Gary should have used him in Fire Red. Because then I could have used Pidgey without having the same Pokemon as my rival, which I kind of hate having the same Pokemon. Now there's this, and this thing, you can still ride in it. It's not as big as Pidgey. It's just kind of weird. With its weird neck, double jointed neck, and sticking up hair. It looks like it's trying to do something bad. Now the little Ekans. Ekans is a snake. Backwards, it looks like a real stinking snake without teeth. Like it was just born. And it's just a baby rattlesnake that you can actually see in the real life if someone painted a rattlesnake pur purple with yellow underbelly and circle. But they're really creative with that name. Gotta stress that. Snake backwards, people. Round of applause. Boo. I didn't realize that for a while, though. But still. It is pretty good. Now there's this. And this thing also looks like something you could see in real life if the patterns were like that. And I think the reason they made the patterns like that was because Jesse used it. That's like the only time you ever see this thing in the entire series. You never really see it again. You only see Jesse and James. Or, yeah, Jesse and James use these things in the series. And you only ever see Team Rocket use these things in your games. Or most of the Pokemon like that. You only see either in the wild or Team Rocket using you barely ever see these things, other trainers using them. So, they just gave it some hearts for Jesse, and they thought that would work. And it kind of makes out a face, and it's kind of getting off track. But if you ever see Spongebob, there's actually a character with hard eyes. Maybe this is where he originated from. But it does look like an awesome snake. That could happen in real life. If I ever see one of these snakes, I'll let you know, and I will call the cops. Now, Pikachu. Pikachu has actually two different forms, and oh no. Had actually two different forms if you just pretend that didn't happen. There's one form which is Ash's Pikachu, and then there's Wild Pikachus. Now when I look at this Pikachu, I think of a wild one. In the show, Ash's Pikachu, when he first got it, was all scrunched up. And then when you meet other Pikachus, they're kind of scrunched up, but Ash's Pikachu is now a little better. Ash Pikachu barely ever walks on all fours. Is always basically just always on both his feet. He's just ready to pounce. This one was just pouncing. And his head and his body 
are totally connected and you don't scratch door up. This looks like a lot of Pikachu. This is the only reason why I don't like seeing other Pikachus. It just look, looks creepy thinking of Ash's Pikachu and then looking at this. And if you've seen someone's video, they actually, not someone's video, if you have heard it, Ash's Pikachu makes a different sound than other Pikachus. I've never heard about Ricky's or whatever, his new rival that he got in the second season who has a Pikachu and a Charander. I've never heard his Pikachu sound, but I imagine it's a wild Pikachu-like sound. So Pikachu has its own particular sound just because he is Ashes. I've been going so much on sound. It's a pretty good Pokemon. I use it all the time. I did not use it in this time running through my Fire Red game. I usually always use them. But I'm trying to train up because I always get to the end of the game and I'm severely under leveled. I was at the Sever Island when I found out I didn't have to do them. I had to look up a walkthrough to get out. And my Pokemon were level 40 something. And I was watching a walkthrough and I'm like, they're already level 50, highest level in this gym. And my highest level is a level 45 maybe, 46. And that's only four of my Pokemon were around that level. I put up three fingers when I said four. Or, yeah, actually, no, it was three of them. I, about three of my Pokemon. And I'm like, I'm not going to beat this game. i got to restart this and make a better team. Actually plan out a team. Because I had, when I started playing this again, I was missing one other Pokemon. So it kind of became something. I was missing one Pokemon, and I'm like, eh, I'll just use Venomoth, because that's basically using a Caterpie. And now I planned out my entire team for this and the Emerald game. And if you want to see walkthroughs, that might not happen because my camera cannot pick up good things. You're already seeing what's doing to a computer. And I'm not that good at editing. That's why I had to get this. So, yeah. Let's finally play. And I thought she went by quickly on this, but apparently she didn't. So I just got to sit here and kind of talk about your, my day. Or not. Okay, why is this thing hating me today? Now we duck. Yeah, it, it hates me a lot. Yes, there's Pikachu. It's a nice Pikachu, but I want to write you. No! What? No! I broke the computer. Pause. There is Raichu. Now Raichu with his amazing thunderbolt tail, his weird ears, and his pouch is not electrical pouch is not standing out as much, and then the random white belly. It is amazing Pokemon. I used to think it was the same exact size as Pikachu, but no, it's significantly bigger. And I cannot say significantly, can I? But it was bigger than him. And you can't really tell that in the series and I Siri games. And I used to hate using him because his feet were always curved. And it made him look weird against you. And that's why I used to never evolve my Pikachu. And now I'm always trying to, and I never have a Thunderstone. And Heart Golden Soul Silver. I there's like nowhere to get stones, not even when the game's over. And I still have a Pikachu. And I'm in Saffron City or something. I still have the Pikachu. It's crazy. But let's play this finally. And wait for it again. Because for some reason it's fast when I watch it. But when I'm trying to do something it goes slow. Now this should do a little stand true. And I just realized if you look at it. It doesn't look like it's staring forward. If you look at its little shines. It looks like it's looking right up at you. I know it's entire face. Or entire eyes, something in the shine, just like from a picture or something. But it looks, it looks like it's staring up into your soul and will never let go or something. It's creepy, but I still love them, and I love the brick thing they give to them. But then we have to wait because this thing hate this thing hates me a lot. The Shine Slash, which is amazing, even though he's not that good of a Pokemon, he has amazing look. His, he trades in bl bricks for Porcupine Spikes. 
all brown except for that one on his head. Two double, two hands, two fingers that are blades, two feet with two blade, fi two blades. And actually, no, another yellow, another red color spike. Another red female. That's all I can say about. I don't like this. I don't like the Maran female entire line. It just looks like an evil gerbil died, and now it came back as a zombie gerbil because it is dead color. And now it just got bigger because you hate it more, and it, when you it grows on hate, and now it's eviler and bigger. It wants to kill you, and it's like part two of some evil. Or, Two of some evil movie, and now it's a completely different character with a weird bikini. And if you look at it slightly, now for your younger viewers, I'm gonna have to say get out of this right now. For your older viewers, I'd say put keep this. I don't know, but if you look at the two pieces, it looks like two eyes, and then the bottom piece looks like a mouth. That is what I see when I look at this thing: a mouth belly in the wrong spot. And I just think that is not right at all. They should have not even colored those pieces or left something in the middle right there. It is weird. Now we get to this, and it doesn't look so evil. It just looks like a little purple hamster with huge ears. And it's just a little guy, and you can't even touch him without getting poisoned. Oh, yeah, he got a spike on his head, and now he's even bigger. Oh, snap, he's a unicorn. He's an evil unicorn beast, and then you give him a moonstone, and what happens? He turns into this. And he has spikes on the back of his arms, and a huge tail, and he's buff, and his ears are still huge, and he still has the unicorn horn, but yet it's split into other unicorn horns, and his foot is just one giant blade, and it looks like he's wearing armor, and he is just the beast, but he wears terrible moves. And now you're this thing, and I kind of like this thing because it puts people to sleep. It's supposed to be an alien in the TV series. You should mention that it's from space a lot. And it even has a face-off with Jigglypuff. And now it didn't really evolve. It got taller. And got spiky things, and, and now its ears longer. It didn't evolve. It's just like all the others. They don't really evolve. A lot of them. There's, and now it's Nine Tails, which I think is amazing. A lot of people kind of bash on its tail being curved like that. And I say it's pretty good. Sorry, TV's on. I just don't want to turn it off. Now, I think it's pretty good. It has that tuft of hair, and that makes it look less like a regular fox. If you just got rid of that tuft of hair and then made a regular tail, it would just be the actual fox. So I don't like that. So I like how they gave him all the tufts everywhere. And it looks kind of cool. And the tail, like, bounced around. And now it's like this. And you never get a picture of its tails out unless it's running. But not at least in Pokemon. It never has its tails out. It's only those two tails are, full, are out. Everything else is folded. And if you got rid of the tuft of hair and then just had one tail, it would look like an actual dog. So, yeah, a fox evolving into a dog. What is up with this? Plus, the tuft of hair, it does look kind of cool. Except when you look at it closely, it looks like they made the entire character and, like, it looks too much like a fox. Let's click and drag this thing and click it here. And now it's a Pokemon. And now Jigglypuff. The balloon Pokemon is what I call it, because in Smash Balls you can float. It's based off a balloon, apparently, with the little curve on its head. Ear, get a circle, put a curve, weird googly eyes, ears, stubs for hands, and other ways stubs for feet, and you get a Pokemon. Oh yeah, it's smiley all the time. That sings people to, whenever it sings, you go to sleep and it sings into a marker, and you get a Pokemon. Did it pause? What the? Okay, there. Wigglytuff. Give it some better ears, a new pudding topping on its head, and make it taller, and you got a new poke. And open its mouth a little bit, and you got a new Pokemon! Yeah, it's like Transformers log logic from the original. Give it a new color, a new name, it's a new Transformer! Twice! For Starscream! And here's Zubat, the thing without legs, but somehow it can land. I've seen it land, and I think it has a magical feet that just pop up whenever it lands. And those ears, and it just senses what stuff. It doesn't actually know where to go. It just senses stuff. I'm actually going to do something. Oh, lighter. Now we got Golbat. Where does this food go to? 
fifthly bigger wings, trades in his little things for feet, and get some better fangs and eyes instead and eyes instead of ears. But what's up with that mouth? Like he can't ever close that thing. And if he eats food, it just disappears into that black hole. My mouth been open so long, the inside turned black. That's how dry it is. Ha. <laughs> And now it's all just a little cute Pokemon that I love using and I'm actually going to be using in my walkthrough because you're awesome later on after you stop only using its orb. But this is not awesome. It always has that drool. Its eyes are always closed. It's like a cynical like thing. And you might I think right now, what is on its head? What is on that U's head? Oh, ugly. You just kind of give it weird feet, weird stuff for hands, but then they just went. I it went up with hair or something. This creature's weird and evil. That's all I can say about it. But I don't want to touch the computer because it's gonna they go to the scene. Yep. And now it basically trades in all the hair and gets the weird flower and it stops drooling. And it finally opens its eyes. Oh, I'm a new Pokemon. My top has turned into a flower. My eyes are open. I, I've stopped drooling. I don't put on lipstick anymore. And I'm a new Pokemon. Yeah. Which learns like one move. Petal Dance. Each other moves, but it only one only by itself is petal legs. And then you got this thing. It looks kind of cute, but it has two mushrooms on the back. But we don't know what happens when you take mushrooms. Yeah, some of you younger years might not get that. And now it has a huge mushroom on its back, and its eyes are wide out because it's been taking too much mushrooms. Every mushroom it takes turns in, it goes into its stomach and then gets makes the back one of its back bigger. And now it's so high, it can't stop being high, and it can't also see you, because it's blind, and it can see you in the future, like an X-Men, and oh my gosh, the thing that was, butter, that was supposed to evolve into Butterfree, it looks kind of like it should evolve into Butterfree, and its eyes kind of stare into your soul. Dogs running around everywhere, if you can hear that. And it's weird feet. It is the epitome of weird and psychic bugs, I think. And then it evolves into this. See, could you see where those weird eyes were turning into googly eyes that also stare into your soul? Everything, what a Pokemon stare into your soul. But this one looks like it could have been that. It doesn't really look like Motham, or this thing evolves into him. Motham. Oops, I don't know, it skips Cocoon stage. And now it's his Diglett, the most creative Pokemon ever. Other than Ditto and Ghastly. Let's draw a little circle, put a circle, an oval, an oval, and an oval. The other way, I had some dirt. We got a Pokemon in our hands. That's Pokemon logic for you. And it never comes out of the hole. There's even times where it lifts up and under the dirt, just plain. And this is the most creative evolution, like Magnemites. It just gets two other guys also the same, or that are taller than him. Booking roommates, and they're one person. What if the one was a different gender? Imagine just taking the taller Diglett. Imagine how weird that thing looks. This thing is just the another epitome of what were they thinking? And um, yeah, I, Meowth is a pretty good Pokemon. A lot of people use them, and I think I would use them if it wasn't for watching Team Rocket in the TV show. That has ruined Meowth for me, and one day I might try using Meowth, but it's actually a little ruined for me right now. And then the Persian, pretty good. Again, Team Rocket-ish, S, with the little jewel on its head, and the curled up tail all the time. It's just a cat. Overgrown pussy cat. It's one of those Pokemon that you really don't ever see anyone else use. I've seen this thing once out of Team Rocket. And the only time I've ever seen Meowth out of Team Rocket was when Meowth was telling the story on how we learned how to talk. And that's it. Oh yeah, when he was cloned. Now it's Psyduck, the weirdest Pokemon, again, still ruined from the TV show, even though it's a kind of good Pokemon, especially when it evolves in everything, even though it can't do anything in the show, it just saves them with magic powers. 
Like it beat Team Rocket one time when they were trying to steal Button and Matt with his magic powers, and then he went back to being stupid. I'm not going to say the word because it might offend people, and people might not like me saying it, so I'm not going to say it. And now Golduck. Well, got a thing like Persian. You got a jewel on your head, dude. You're blue. You're not gold. I still used you. You were kind of awesome. You got a weird tail. And you just, this is the coolest you can make a duck look. It, this is as cool as it's going to actually get. And it's not that cool. There's actually an episode where Missy thought her Psyduck evolved into this. Why doesn't her Psyduck ever evolve? And now we get the pig monkey. You don't realize it, but it has a pig snout, pig ear. Go on real quick because this video is getting kind of long. But it's Pig Monkey. It's still amazing Pokemon. I love using it. But it's Monkey. Manky! Oh, that's clearly a monkey. Manky! Watch Smosh! Pokemon! Episode 1. Pokemon in real life. Oh, oh, what the? Oh, oh not episode 1. I was thinking it was episode 2. But he ran into a monkey. Manky! Yeah, his Pokedex kept correcting him. And then one time he says, I'm going to catch you, monkey. And then in the fade background, he doesn't even hear it. goes, Hanky. But for some reason, it won't switch from this. Oh, yeah, it also has a lot of fur everywhere. And weird feet. I would just not imagine seeing this around the world ever. Come on. Okay, now we got the private. He gets buffer, puts chains around his arms, and loses the tail. And he gets a little angry. We got Monk, we got the new evolution for you. He's crazy in the show and never listened to Ash. That's really it. He's incredibly, he's insanely powerful. That's why he has that bulging on his head. He's like, I'm so powerful. I must be mad all the time. Never be happy. I don't even have a mouth. I'm that mad. I'll switch to the next scene. I'm too mad to show my face. And I still have fur everywhere. I have two, oh, I have two toes again, but I don't have any fingers. Uh -huh. And now I've evolved into, or now, I'm in one of my favorite Pokemon, Growlithe. I love using this thing. It's pretty amazing even though I barely ever use him. He's like a dogish Pokemon. He's a little tiger. He's like, you want a little tiger. And then it evolves into this. And it gets some flames everywhere. Flame things. I love a lot of pictures when they're in CGI's. It, it has like, fl things are actually flaming around everywhere. But his head is all covered in the flames. His bare eyes and ears just sticking out of nowhere. Its mouth somehow and all that. I don't know how that mouth sticks out. But if you take a hold of the fur, it's just a plain out tiger. Now we get to this thing. It has a little mouth. It has no, no arms. Its eyes are always looking at each other. It's like that. And its little, has a little tail. It's a little cute little froggy tadpole Pokemon. Oh, 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 oh yeah. And it has a swirl on its belly that will control you if it spins. And now it trades in its mouth for a bigger circle and gloves. And it gets rid of its tail for arms. And its eyes go up a little bit like two giant bumps and get googly. That's Pokemon for you. Oh yeah, he also has a slight nose. That's Pokemon logic for you again. And now he kind of has a mouth because they bent it in. Imagine trying to close that thing. Ears. Now he has fists in there, and his bumps are not as big. But he is very muscular, and he turns into a fighting type, which is kind of a good thing. But you only learn just a couple fighting type moves, and he learns better fighting type moves if you don't evolve him. I don't think he really learns any until like level 54. And now we get Abra, and this is the Pokemon you get mad at when it runs away from you. It has a kind of big tail compared to what it is. It's also one of the Pokemon's eyes never open. But I think it can actually can be taught good psychic type moves like Psychic. And it's funny to see, to have a Abra in a CGI game and just have it use Psychic and I would actually stand up and do something. Now it's one of those things where its stomach is in its tail and it's two squigglies on the part where you don't want to see. It's holding a spoon, which I've heard that, but it takes you on to explain that. It has whiskers. What? 
and now it has a little spikes on his feet, and it's wearing some kind of weird shirt, but it has no pants. See Holy Musical Batman, that would be hilarious when you say it has no pants. Because then someone will take, Commissioner will take off its pants and give it to him. Because it's Holy Musical Batman. And now he wears a sort of pants. He has shin guards, he has two spoons, he, tra he trades in his tail for a bigger head and mustache. And he's still wearing armor everywhere. And now his spikes go on the bottom of his feet. What? And what's up with the ears? What is up with this guy? He's still awesome though. And now we get the starved little child, alligator child with two, with three things on his head. And a tail. That is what he is. Starved child with so much stuff. He, he's forced to fight. He's forced to be starved. No matter how many apples you feed him, though, he'll always be starved. Maybe his food in his tail and that's his stomach. And now he evolves into this. No more tail. He's now a champion, or maybe he tucks his tail into the champion. He has cuts over his body, and he's now an alligator again. Or he's still an alligator-like creature. And it's one of the most humanistic creatures there is. And now, he gets a fourth arm, and I'm actually going to pause this. It's something I want to say. His, all his toes turn into this, too. He's still a champion. But basically, it just looks like they change his color scheme, give him a weird mouth. Make those little things on his head bigger. And they're like, oh, this is a Pokemon. Yeah, this is the new Pokemon. I'm like, wait, we gotta change this a little more. Let's click some fists and stuff and drag them to the back of the character. And we'll say he has four arms. Because to me, when I look at this now, I just see a character with two arms dragged onto his back. Clicked and dragged. Usually when people have four arms, weirdly, they're under where the regular arms would be. So, yeah. I think you should have some move using all four arms where it claps them together and explodes everything. That would be the most epic thing ever. Plus, what's up with him not wearing a belt? He's like the Poker Champion. What? How do you. How did you become the Poker Champion just by evolving? You evolved! You're the champion! Well, at least he's wearing pants! And now we get to the belt sprout. The thing that doesn't walk, it's supposed to be able to run Razor Leaf according to the show, but never can. And then, its head turns into this. It basically cuts off the top and puts some leaves on it. Little little things. Oh, it, now it has better eyes. Oh, it's a new Pokemon. Hold on the bottom. And now it's this. It's the head, upside down, bigger leaves, but new tail, and a leaf on top of its head and spikes. What? It's gonna eat, it's gonna eat Team Rocket's heads off. And now you get this. It's made to kind of be a crown to go on top of Meowth's head. It wraps around him, and then he controls everything and destroys stuff. And it looks like that Paul is kicking or something. Now you get this. It's just straight up another head, spikes on it, more tentacles, and two eyes on top of his head, like an uh, alien buzzard. If you turn it around, if you put two eyes on it and another jewel on the other side, you got the same thing. Now you get the weird rock. How does it eat? Where does it come out? Maybe it's hands? It's gonna punch you in the face. It's also starved like Machamp. They have so much in common. They also traded to evolve. I'm kinda talking fast right now. I'm trying to keep this done as quick as I can. But I can't. I don't know why. And its eyes are black. What's up with everything? So they're either red, they're black, or they're blue. What's up with the coloring? Sorry, my dog is freaking out because of what I'm saying right now. And now he has two arms. And he has a weird head. What is up with the rock becoming a bigger rock with more arms? What is up with Pokemon and just adding arms? But Grabber is actually my favorite Pokemon with all the weird rocks on him. And then he evolves into this. It just looks like they got a stone, clipped and dragged what, random body parts on him and called it a new creature. And it's an alligator again, coming out of a regular stone. Plus, since it's coming out of cracks, it really just looks like it's they actually did just get a boulder. Got hands, clicked and dragged them over. Clicked and dragged a head, clicked and dragged other things. And it looks like an Egyptian creature with that line going on it, and it doesn't go all the way around his head. And sorry about that. It doesn't go all the way around his head, so it looks like he's Egyptian. Now we get to the little pony. It's basically an actual human creature, except it has flames on it. And looks like, how do you sit on it? It's gonna, it's gonna burn your butt off. But no, if it trusts you enough, you can sit on it. If you can just believe, you can sit on it. And now it's a unicorn. Same thing. Unicorn now. That's all. And it looks more like just a horse 
cut off the horn, get rid of the flames, give an actual tail to real horse. What? How do you still sit on these things? Now I got the, another Pokemon that was a weird mouth. Purple. It's kind of a cool though. It's like kicking this. I don't know. I don't know what intrigues me with this. But what is up with this? Ah. And now it doesn't evolve. That, that's what I'm saying. What is a Pokemon not evolving? Something bites his tail, his feet turn weird, and he stands up. And now, oh, you see, he has a little reptile thing around the bad spot. And the thing on his tail it has a mouth and eyes. And now you get Magnemite. It looks like you could draw him, except the magnets are kind of hard to draw. He has a drill drilled into his head and drilled into his body. And it's a pr plain little eye that only sticks out. You don't have to ever see it move when you use lock on. And now, you just get some more Magnemites. Take off two of the drills. Connect it with the other two drills to connect all four of them together. But only connect them both to the top one. The other two in the bottom cannot be connected because their magnets still have to be in use. But all of them still have the right amount of magnets. And I'm talking too fast, I'm sorry. But this is getting factual. And yeah, if you like these videos, please tell me so I can make more of these videos. But now this is not over yet. We got some more. Now we get the little duck again trying to hide itself with a little weapon which I think is so stupid because how does a duck fly with that thing in it? It's going to be unbalanced the entire way it flies and it's going to fall. Even if it puts it in his mouth, it's still going to be unbalanced because it's higher on one side and lower on the other. And where does this thing even come from? It looks like an actual thing you can see in real life. Just get rid of the beak put a peg on it. And now you get this. It has no wings. It's a flying type. It can actually learn fly. It has two heads, one looking up, one looking the other way. And now it's three heads. What's up with them just adding on a couple things and calling it a new character? Which each head's supposed to have a different personality, but two of them are always rah rah. When you see other pictures, one head is always mm, the other head's rah, the other head's just like eh. And now you get the seal. This looks like something you can see in real life. Get rid of the weird fangs and the horn. And again, just get rid of the horn and the fangs and you got a real life creature. It doesn't really even evolve. What? And seal? The other seal? Out of water, it never gets off its front head or something. It's always on its head, and it's underwater. And then Dugon. Dugon! What? Dugon! What? And then Grimer. The pile of sewage waste that turned purple and walk started walking around. It's like Trubbish. Actually, I bet that's what Trubbish was based off of. You an experiment, drop it off some trash, Trubbish came out. You an experiment, drop it off some goo, Muck came out. Or Grimer came out. And then he evolves into Muck, which is basically just a bigger pile of goo with weirder eyes, and now there's a piece of goo in, on his mouth. And now you get Cloyster. It has a little tongue sticking out of his black part and two eyes. And now you get the most creepiest thing ever, and I don't even have to say what this is. If you're a younger viewer, don't, play, don't ever get this Pokemon. It is a good Pokemon, but don't ever get it. And I've heard of someone who actually thought Ghastly evolved from this. Because they're right next to each other in the poke po Pokedex. It looked like the little shell, and then this, and then, you see that black thing in there? It looks like you just pop that out, and then it becomes ghastly. Talking about this, if people know what I'm talking about, it's kind of getting sick for younger viewers that find the story interesting. It's creepy. I want to stop looking at it now. And someone pointed it out. And now here's ghastly, the thing that just popped out of Cloy the other evolution, and became this. It's one of the easiest Pokemon to draw. Me and my friends used to brag that we could draw the Pokemon. We draw Diglett in them. And now Haunter. He looked kind of cool, floating off hands. Evil little laugh. I liked him. But then I traded him. Who did I trade him for? Alakazam. And then this guy came out. Came out of nowhere. It's, it's Haunter. What else can I say about him? Now, I'm going to end the video off here, and I'll see you guys back later, because my dog went crazy and someone's here. So, see you back later with...